right up to there. It was a really, really, really good clause. But of course, they're going to finish their sentence once they finish all the stuff that the United States cannot do. Shall never engage in, nor can it, nor can it, nor can it, nor can it. So if it ended right there, it would be fine. So it can't uh, borrow money on the credit of the United States. It cannot appropriate money. Nor can it agree upon the number of vessels of war to be built or purchased, or the number of land or sea forces to be raised, nor appoint a commander-in-chief of the army or navy, unless... There's the whole list of crap that Congress cannot do unless you have nine states assent to the same. So the nine states have to vote in favor. Nor shall a question on any other point, now that's more than a majority, I'll just interrupt right there, there's a little bit more than a majority. A majority would be seven if there's thirteen, seven versus six. Nor shall a question on any other point except for the adjourning from day to day be determined unless by the votes of the majority of the United States in Congress assembled. So you have to have at least a majority vote to do anything of business, except for day-to-day -day adjourning. Probably something like uh, the Senator motions that we adjourn. Uh, is there anyone who seconds the motion? Uh, and then they adjourn. The Congress of the United States shall have the power to adjourn to any time within the year and to any place within the United States. How odd that would be if they were allowed to adjourn in another country so that no period of adjournment be for a longer duration than the space of six months, and sh shall publish the journal of their proceedings monthly, except such parts thereof relating to treatises, alliances, or military operations, as in their judgments require secrecy. So Congress can decide what can and cannot be publicly put out there, and the stuff that is publicly put out there, like the yeas and the nays and all votes of all different things. The yeas and nays of the delegates of each state on any question shall be entered on the journal when it is desired by any delegates of a state or any of them at his or their request shall be furnished with a transcript of the said journal, except such parts as are above accepted, to lay before the legislatures of the several states. So. We'll give an accounting of the actions of Congress, and you can take it back to the legislatures of the states to see what we're doing. Today we have a wonderful thing. Well, it's a bit boring, but you can see, if you're interested, you can tune in to uh, it's C-SPAN, I believe, isn't it? Which is just right there on the floor of the House and Senate. Article 10. The Committee of the States, or any nine of them, shall be authorized to execute in the recess of Congress such of the powers of Congress as the United States in Congress assembled shall by the consent of the nine states time to time think expedient to vest within them. So that's the committee of the state that has the power to do certain things which only Congress normally would have the power to do. But the committee of the states is given this power only in limited cases and only while Congress is adjourned. Now there's a crazy bit about Canada that I'm just getting a clue for the hell of it. Canada. Uh, Article 11. Canada acceding to this confederation Okay, it's the agree to this confederation and adjoining in the measures of the United States shall be admitted into and entitled to all the advantages of this union, but no other colony shall be admitted into the same unless such admission shall be agreed upon by the United States. So they put it right there in their Articles of Confederation, an open admission or an inv invitation for Canada to join them. Please. We'll, we are giving you a one-ticket pass. Nobody else says Canada only on the ticket. You can get into our confederation. Just join us, or we'll try to conquer you, <laughs> which later happened. Okay, the Article 12, they just pledged to pay their bills. Article 13, every state shall abide by the determinations of the United States in Congress assembled on all questions which by this confederation are submitted to them. And the articles of this confederation shall be inviolably observed by inviolably observed by every state, and the union shall be perpetual. Nor shall any alter that puts out civil war. You can't say, well, we decided we don't want to be in it anymore. Well, it's not like perpetual energy, which doesn't exist. This is a perpetual state. It goes on forever. Nor shall any alteration at any time hereafter be made in any of them unless such alterations be agreed to in a Congress of the United States and be afterwards confirmed by the legislatures of every state. You want to make a change to the Articles of Confederation? 
one state can hold it all up. And you can always find one, there's always one state who will hold up, you know, something that's needed, something that's necessary. Uh, continuing Article 13, next paragraph. And whereas it hath pleased the great governor of the world to incline the hearts of the legislatures, we, respect, we, respect, we respectively represent in Congress, right, and it just goes crazy after that, and we get to skip a big bunch there, um, and, and then here's the ending of it. So they're, they're finished, they're done, and the very last paragraph, in witness whereof we have hereunto set our hands in Congress, done at Philadelphia, in the state of Pennsylvania, on the ninth day of July, in the year of our Lord, 1778, and the third year of the independence of America. Now, well now we get to get on to the other constitution. I have wondered what uh, uh, one would might replace the old ADBC system with, because AD is in the year of our Lord, Adamini Dominani, or whatever, and BC is before Christ. And if we replace that and put the year zero somewhere else, first of all, we can nail it down a little more accurately, whatever. Um, you could put it July 4th, 1776, year zero. <laughs> That'd be a bit grandiose of the United States. On to the uh, Constitution, not of the United States, but of, the, of my rewritten version of it, which uh, is very similar.